So here's the rope and shell after uh, the hammer mill, and as you can see, it ran way, way faster than the hammer mill. I was, I was much uh, happier with uh, the throughput from the hammer mill, but um, the rope came, came clean. It didn't roll up or bind up in the hammer mill at all because uh, there wasn't any screen. The shells, I think, actually got crushed a little bit finer than through the jaw crusher. Um, so I think overall it was a, a great test. Right now we're working with one of the largest oyster growers on the West Coast uh, to help solve their issue with this rope, which they're telling us is one of the biggest environmental problems that they have in the industry today. And they're looking for a primary crusher to liberate the rope and the shell, and then a secondary crusher that's gonna take the, the broken shell with no rope and crush it down to find powder so they can uh, use it in their, in their growing operation. So,